Hello, everybody. This is your daily real estate practice exam question, and this one was a great one. Hot topic in the Facebook group. If you aren't a member, just in the description box below, you will have a link there. Join. Join us for the fun. So here's what it says. A prospective tenant feels that because of his national origin, he was denied the rental of an apartment in a 12-unit apartment building. The building was owned by a private individual who lived in one of the units who used no discriminatory advertising and no real estate broker. Does the prospective tenant have any recourse? A, yes, because the discrimination was of a unit in a 12-unit building. B, yes, because the owner of the building did not use a broker. C, no, because the owner occupied one of the units. Or D, no, because the owner avoided discriminatory advertising. So a couple things, national origin, that is protected under Title VIII of the Fair Housing Act, okay, Federal Fair Housing Act. Um, and here's a couple other things that we want to make sure we know. It's a 12-unit apartment building. Uh, it was a private individual who lived in one of the units, okay, and he used no discriminatory advertising and no real estate broker. So the question also reads, does a prospective tenant have any recourse? So. We're going to knock out a couple of them, and then we're going to have a discussion, okay? We're going to have a one-way discussion, but we'll have a discussion nonetheless. So I'm going to knock out no because the owner avoided discriminatory advertising. So that is not one of the answers, okay? That's not one that we're going to consider. No because the owner didn't avoided using discriminatory advertising. Now, let's take out one of the yeses. Yes, because the broker, uh, the owner didn't use a broker. I wish that there was a law or something on the books that forced owners to use brokers. That would be fantastic. So we're left with two answers. Yes, because the discrimination was of a unit in a 12-unit building. Or no, because the owner occupied one of the units. Now, there are specific times... When, according to Title VIII of the Federal Fair Housing Act, okay, that is our 1968 law, okay, which covers national origin, there are times that you can discriminate. Those times are when it is owner-occupied of a one- to four-unit building. So... The prospective tenant does have recourse. Don't add anything to this question. Don't say, well, Stu, maybe they were actually denying them because of this, because of that. Maybe it wasn't discrimination. Doesn't matter. If you feel that you were discriminated against because of your belonging to a protected class, that is the whole reason the law is set up so that you could file a co complaint. We could get into that in a totally other day, but what happens is this. They're just asking, does the tenant have recourse? And the answer to it is yes, because the owner cannot discriminate when it is beyond that of a one to four unit uh, a household. If it is a one to four unit household, owner occupied, they are not using discriminatory advertising or a broker, they can discriminate. Okay? They can discriminate based on the ones that are outlined in Title VIII, okay? So that is the answer there. And again, don't add anything else to this because it doesn't say if he's going to be successful, if he's not going to be successful. There's no other things that we have here except this information. And based on that, he does have recourse that he could potentially win because it was more than a four-unit building. Guys, I hope you like that one. If you do, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I'm going to see you real soon.